Hi, Sunday School friends. It's Mrs. Russo. Welcome to the fifth, fifth Sunday of Epiphany. Just making sure, checking my notes. It is indeed the fifth Sunday in Epiphany when Jesus is revealing himself to be God's son. And today we're going to talk about a story that has to do with, do you know what that says? Fishing. Fishing. Now, in Jesus' time and in this story, they were not fishing with a rod and a reel. <laughs> in the story we hear today in the big church, we hear the story of them fishing with nets. And these men have been fishing all day, throwing their nets in, pulling them back empty. And Jesus asks them one more time, throw your nets over the other side. And they're like, We've been doing this all day. There's no fish. And they say, fine, we'll just do it. Throw their nets over. And they are now so full of shit, fish that they can't even pull them up. They can hardly pull the nets back up into the boat. They're so full of fish. This is another way that Jesus is revealing himself to be special, to be different, to be chosen, to be the Messiah, to not only say, oh, I'm here to heal you, but also here to say, I'm here to give you everything you need. That is when we talk about our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. What, what do we need today? Please give it to us. And Jesus said, I will give it to you and more as they're pulling, heaving those nets in. But then Jesus goes a step further. He not only provides for them with this, with this catch of fish, but then he says, come follow me and I'll make you fish for people. What does that mean? They're going to throw their nets over people and, <laughs> and bring them back and sell them at the market? No. That is not what Jesus means. Does it mean you're going to throw a rod to them and, and hook them in the mouth? No. No. But what does Jesus mean? Let's see how we can figure this out. Okay. When we have, when we're fishing nowadays, like a lot of people still fish with nets, but me and my family usually fish with a rod and a reel. And then we need, we need a hook, something that's convincing. Yeah. But then we need something. Do you? This is, this is a fake one, that fake little fish or a fake worm. Have you ever fished with a worm on your hook? This is called bait. This is bait. It's something that makes the fish want to come to your rod and reel. Makes your fish want to come and be hooked. When we say hooked for people. We don't really actually mean with a hook. We mean that your heart is now convinced. Your heart is now, is, is now believes they're hooked. You're hooked. Or maybe you just can't get enough of it. Maybe you're hooked on a good book and you just can't get enough of it. That's the kind of hook we're talking about here, not an actual metal hook. But what about this bait? What is it about this bait that makes the fish say, oh, I want to go over there and be hooked. Hmm? This one, pretend it's look like a little fish or it could be like a worm. And then the fish wants that. So what is it when we fish for people? When we're trying to hook people and say, you want what we have here at St. Patrick's. You want some of this amazingness. It's love. So when we fish for people, we show God's love. We show how much we love other people. We love each other. We love ourselves. We demonstrate that by how we behave. We're going to smile at people. Through our masks, we have to smile with our eyes. <laughs> We're going to hold the door for people. We're going to wish people a good day. We're going to help if somebody drops something or we're going to maybe reorganize the carts at the shopping center because the people that are working the, the um, parking lot are too, too busy. They're maybe down a few people. So we're going to reorganize the carts and somebody else is going to drive past there and say, wow, that person is showing love. There's something special. 
That's different. That's our bait, is sharing God's love. And that's what we do all through Epiphany and then all through Ordinary Time, where we go out and we share it ourselves. We become God's hands and feet and mouth. So, Lord, let us pray. The Lord be with you. Thank you for the people who taught us about Jesus. And please use us to share his love with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful week this week, friends, sharing God's love and getting them hooked. Maybe you'll want to come and bring them to church with you. That would be awesome. I'd love to meet your friends. See you later.